Welcome to my garden. I have never done an official garden tour. Let's take a tour of my small backyard garden to see what I'm growing in the month of November. These are my two large raised beds. And that is my buddy. In this garden, I have bok chow. These are joy chow, which is still a part of the bok chow family. I have celery, red cabbage, regular cabbage. I have um, arugula, collard greens, broccoli, cauliflower, garlic, onions, scallions, strawberry, Swiss chards, and I feel like I'm missing something. But yeah, this is my first raised bed. Over here, we have my blueberry plant. And here, I have a onion garden. It's just basically some flowers that's involuntarily growing. And I just planted a bunch of onions around it. The only thing I have left to do for this is just add mulch to this garden. In this raised bed, I have onions, Swiss chard, celery, broccoli, cauliflower, collard greens, cabbage, strawberries, parsley, basil, um, and I think that's pretty much it for that one. And uh, uh, arugula. <laughs> Over here, of course, is my beautiful marigold. They're coming to the end of their life cycle and I will be saving all of these so I can harvest the seed for an upcoming seed swap. These are my two large raised beds and I do keep these raised beds covered. Over here is the raised bed that I just completed two days ago. This one, I have already filled it halfway with leaves and twigs and branches from my yard. And the only thing I have left to do is to fill it with soil and amend this bed. This one over here, I have broccoli, some cabbage, some collard greens, celery, and a little bit of onions. No, and a little bit of scallions, which is the same thing as green onions. In that far corner, I have strawberries. And of course, I have my vegetable tower as you can see i'm still planting stuff in here but so far i have some onions growing in here some strawberries and on the back i have a marigold and a basil which already went to seed and i'm just waiting for the seeds to dry up so i can harvest the the seeds over here is my only corn that i have left i pulled the other ones <laughs> And she is, but she's doing good. She's little, but she's still growing and I want to give her a fair chance. So that is my corn. Over here is my compost. And over here is my solar watering bucket that watered all of my containers that used to be along this wall during the summer. But I have been getting rid of my containers and dumping the dirt in my raised beds because I want to get rid of all of my containers so as you can see my garden is transitioning from what it used to look like right now I have the two large raised beds I have two small raised beds I build a wooden raised bed and then my intention is probably to get two more small raised beds like these and put them over on that side get rid of all of the containers all of the grow bags um the only containers i will be keeping in my yard are those massive ones in the back one two three four five six and that is the only containers that i plan on having out here these are <laughs> containers that i'm working on right now to put on my back porch. I'm switching out all of the black containers and I'm getting the white ones and I'm gonna put all of my plants in it that will be going inside for the winter or will be overwintering on my back porch. Over here, I have ginger growing. And as you can see, look at those roots, massive. This is peppermint. This is a pawpaw tree that was given to me two, three years ago by a friend. 
and this is the second pawpaw tree i'm not sure if this is already going dormant for the winter but that one's been struggling because grubs was i found a bunch of grubs in that container and it's just always been struggling but this one is clearly going dormant for the season this is my last bell pepper she has been you see that baby lizard it's so cute she has been hanging on for dear life and i'm going to give her the opportunity to hang on as long as she wants and produce peppers this container i just transplanted a bunch of collard greens um, and broccoli out of this one those are everything that's in this raised bed right here so i left one in here and i'm probably gonna plant um some spinach and some lettuce or some spinach and some lettuce around it this is my sugar cane she has been going so good this year this is my first year growing sugar cane in containers so i'm gonna let her finish doing her thing when my mom and my grandmother come to visit this weekend i will probably go ahead and cut the last two so they can you know enjoy some of them and um the rest will i will try my best to overwinter them and see if they grow back in the spring these are um bok chow and I also have some onions in here. And I see some tomatoes that's pretty much growing on its own. So I'm just going to let them do their thing. This is my Hungarian hot wax pepper tree. This is the pepper tree that I'm waiting for it to finish producing. And then I will overwinter her. This is a cabbage. Look at this. It has already started folding its head. And it's pretty big. So I am super excited about that. That looks like I will be harvesting cabbage maybe by Christmas, I hope. In this container, I have garlic and I have onion and I have a red cabbage that's holding on for dear life. But I need to do a little bit of cleaning up in this container. In this container, I have four red cabbage that's growing. Um, I was thinking about taking some of them out and letting them have some space but I think I'm just gonna let them be they're so pretty and I also have some onions um, growing inside of each container over here is my rosemary um, and I have to repot this one and put it in a larger pot and over here is my raspberry bush no I think this is my blackberry hell I don't even know but she's pretty so this is my fireplace i do use this space in the winter time so in the summer times i usually just put containers in the fireplace and around the fireplace just to keep them away and just to clean up this area a little bit more so in one of these containers of course i have time it's just so beautiful and it smells so great and i have a carrot growing over here i see a tomato growing i don't even know what kind of tomato this is it just start growing on its own and of course this is a pineapple head as you can see i need to clean this up and i noticed that the head has split and now i have a pup on here and now i have two pineapples in here which is okay this is my beautiful flower i did not plant her she came up on her own and she have multiple colors i think it's two plants they have different colors and I think they're absolutely beautiful. In this container, I have yard long beans. These are absolutely gorgeous. And I am waiting um, to harvest these this weekend so that my mom and my grandmother can have some because they've never seen or even tried these before. So this weekend we will be harvesting these, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And this is only on one vine. So I can't wait to have my trellis back up so I can plant these again. If you didn't see my previous videos, I planted these over the summer, but I, major I mostly saved all of my seeds because I wanted to make sure that I had some real good seeds to plant in the spring. Over on that side, I have another pineapple growing as well. Here's one of my scotch bonnet peppers. She is fully loaded. When I say fully loaded, I'm talking about fully loaded. 
I have knocked off so many peppers off of her because I've been throwing the balls to cash and um, I don't know how to aim properly. Here, here is my lettuce garden. I have a bunch of different varieties of lettuce and an Egyptian garlic that is grown in this container. Over here, I have another scotch bonnet pepper tree. Somebody came by and I told them that they can pick three scotch bonnet peppers and I'm gonna keep the rest for myself. And when I turned around, they picked all of them, except one. So this is the reason why I don't even like people coming in my garden. I, I just don't. I also have a June plum tree growing. Um, I have been harvesting a lot of June plum off of these. I also have a star apple tree. I got this June plum um, when I went on a trip to Florida. I stopped by one of the flea markets and I saw it for sale along with the star apple and I bought, I purchased both of them. So if you're interested in getting June plum, I'm not really sure where you can find it, but I bought mine when I was in Florida. Over on this side, I have my kumquat tree. She is doing so good. I cannot wait. I've been picking a few fruits off of her. Every time I come out here and I see one that I think is ready, I just pick them. All you have to do is just pick them. You wash them off. Sometimes I just rub them like this and pop it in my mouth. And you eat the whole thing. Over here, I have my tangerine tree. I am starting to see a, a little bit of color change and I am so excited. This container was full with lettuce and bok chow but i've harvested all of the bok chow out of this container and i only have three lettuce heads left and you can see they're going to seed so i'm going to pull them and i'm going to plant more lettuce in this container we're not going to talk about why my persimmon tree is completely dead I went, i'm not going to tell you guys who killed it but yeah somebody did not water it while i was on vacation so now um she looks dead i don't think she is fully dead i think she's just pretty much went dorm dormant quicker than normal but i'm still gonna water her every couple days and i'm still gonna see what happens in the spring that is all i have time for today because i'm tired it's hot outside cash are you coming until next time that is part one of my november garden tour i hope that you enjoy this tour I hope that you saw some plants that might encourage you or inspire you to get some plants for your garden as well. That's it for now. So until next time, bye.